Hello everyone, I hope you all are good and safe by staying indoors. Do you know, after a long time today, I went to market to buy some items. And after coming back from market, I realized that whatever items I bought were all in same quantity. Then I decided to show you all the items. That's why today I am here. So do you want to see them? Yes? So let's see. First, I am going to show you red red tomatoes. These are tomatoes. Do you know how many tomatoes are there? No. So let's count together. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight tomatoes. How many tomatoes? Eight tomatoes. Next, Sunday ho ya Monday, roj ka ande. Yeah, these are eggs. So let's count. How many eggs are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how many eggs are there? Eight eggs. There are eight eggs. Next, I have some yummy mouth-watering items. So let's see what is that. Tan -tan -na. What is this? Yummy, yummy chocolate. I like to eat these chocolates. Do you? Now let's count how many chocolates are there. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. There are also eight chocolates. So children, have you noticed one thing? Whatever items I bought from the market, these are all same in quantity. There are eight tomatoes, eight chocolates and eight eggs. But what is eight? Eight is a number. We have already learned number one to seven, right? So number eight comes after seven. So let's see how does the number eight look like. This is number eight. Everyone repeat after me. Number eight. Now let's Stress. So for that, everyone join these two fingers. Start from top, then make a C curve, then go down, then draw a opposite C curve or D curve, then turn, then go up and touch here. One more time please. Start from top. Draw a C curve, then go down, then turn, then go up, and touch here. So this is the formation of number 8. Now it's time to write number 8. So everyone look at the board. Start from top. Then draw a C curve, then go down, draw an opposite C curve or D curve, then turn, then go up, draw one more curve and touch here. This is how we write number 8. One more time. 
start from top, then draw a C curve, then come down, draw opposite C curve or B curve, then turn, then go up, draw one more curve, then touch here. So this is how we write number Got it? Children, look very carefully. This is the wrong formation of number 8. We should not write number 8 in this way. Okay? This is the correct formation of number 8. Now, here you can see colorful butterflies. Right? So let's count together how many butterflies are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight butterflies. This is number eight and there are eight butterflies. Now, we will count number 8 with our fingers. So, let's count number 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wiggle your fingers, count aloud. 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wiggle your fingers, say hello. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wiggle your fingers, roll your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wiggle your fingers, clap your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are learning number eight. Yes, this is number eight. Everyone, look here. This is number eight. Eight and there is a tree. Now I have to decorate this tree with flowers. So I have to paste how many flowers? Eight flowers. Because today we are learning number eight. For that I have some chocolate wrappers which I am going to use as a flower. So let's start. Children, these are all waste material. So, this is an amazing idea of waste of the waste. Now, I have to paste one by one. One third. Two flowers. Then three flowers, four, five, six, seven. There are eight flowers. So our activity is done. And look, wow, what a beautiful tree it is. Isn't it? So children, you can also try it at home. And this is a beautiful idea of a 
paste out of paste. Now it's time for me to leave. But I'll be soon back with an interesting lesson. Till then stay tuned. Bye-bye.